Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below. Hello, back YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot with my first Madden 18 money play video. I got a run play for you today. There's nothing more important than run plays in the beginning of the game because the passing is a little bit hard to figure out most times. So I got a really dominant run play for you. I'm using the Packers playbook, and it's out of the I form wing. Um, this play right here is a really good and very simple run play too. There's a couple different ways you can run it. Uh, I'm going to show you all of them in this video, but it's the one at the bottom here. i got to go in a slow motion because this is when I was labbing. Uh, I'll record these a little bit differently than normal, but it's the HP Power O at the top there. Since I record this on Xbox, which I typically don't do because of the uh, the, the early pass, uh, it looks a little bit different, but that's okay. So this play is real simple. All you're really going to do is flip it, and you're going to see how you get some really serious uh, big holes, some big run lanes. Um, there's times you're not going to flip it every time, but it's, I think that the best way to do it is essentially to flip the play. And you can see how it's just basically creating a huge hole. Again, 10 yards each time. That's not even the biggest plays that you'll get out of this. You'll get much bigger plays. Um, but you really, it's really one read. It's really all about uh, reading where the defensive end is that you're running right after. There's a certain element of pre-snap read that you really want to do, um, but most times I feel like the best way to do it is kind of run it like a counter play. Counter plays were so dominant last year, uh, and this is not a counter play. It's really just an augmented, uh, you know, going to the strong. Look at the giant hole, though. I mean, there's just so much space, especially if your receiver downfield can get a little bit of a block uh, like he did there. But like I said, you can run this to uh, either side. Um, you know, you just want to do a little bit of a pre-snap read, but in, in most cases I find, especially when you see a big hole on the left side, most people are going to over-pursue uh, to the one side there. I didn't really hit the hole. That would have been a perfect opportunity to get it outside. Like I said, you're reading the defensive end there, uh, right outside your left tackle. If he gets wide, you typically want to go up the hole right there, which, which I can tell right now, the pre-snap read, I can pretty much see that there's going to be a hole. But if he closes that hole, look at that giant hole. If you, I, I didn't really, <laughs> I didn't hit my dude, kind of slowed down. But if he closes that hole, you typically want to get outside. But the hole nine times out of 10 is right there up the gut. Uh, sometimes you just make a dude miss like right there. These juke moves are nasty this year. Um, and you can see how you just get some nice big plays, some nice easy touchdowns. This is going to be one of the more explosive plays you're going to see early on uh, in this game in Madden this year. Um, like I said, I'll show you a couple different ways to run it. This one here, I'm just showing you how consistent it is. It doesn't really matter what the front is. I'm running against 4-3. I'm also playing against All Madden, which a lot of times I typically didn't do last year because All Madden, uh, All Pro is what the competitive uh, rating is set at. I'm not sure if it is this year, uh, but I accidentally set it to All Madden, so you're seeing how dominant this is, even against an All Madden uh, defense. And you're going to get huge blocking advantages this year with these two tight end sets. Look at that big gaping hole right the gut. We get another touchdown. Uh, but like I said, there's a couple different ways to do this. It's not all just this one way. You can run it the normal way, and I'll show you how that works real quick. Um, you still gotta put a little bit of move. You can see how I still didn't get as much distance before a guy got in my way. I still find the best way to do it is run it to the opposite side, but you can run it this way. You can also motion out your tight end, kind of single him as a blocker on the corner. I find that that really helps. Um, we'll see how that looks here. I mean, that's that tight end is typically going to block that corner anyway, but you want him to get outside of that, uh, of that corner, so that really, um, it helps to set the edge a little bit to, to motion this guy out. So you really want to do your pre-snap read. You want to see, um, you know, which one gives you the best advantage uh, pre-snap. Here you can see, you know, that 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 cornerback is get pancaked by the tight end, and uh, you know that's the play. So I also want to show you guys a pretty good pass play because you don't want to be too predictable. You don't want to just run the same thing over and over. I don't know if you guys want to see uh, full schemes this early on. If you just want to see single money plays, but I'm going to show you this PAX burst cross at the bottom. This is a really good. Um, play as well a good pass play to mix in because it does have a play action So here it looks like you're going right in the same direction and Then you basically get this fullback just wide open You're gonna see his fullbacks open like nine times out of ten I don't know what it is. It's kind of glitchy the way this thing gets open There's a couple different audibles you can make you can either put this uh, tight end on a drag Which I find is pretty helpful it plays really well off of the fullback As You can see everybody's dropping here and the fullback just once again just gets wide open um, Like I said, it's kind of glitchy. I don't know what it is about that route. It's not really a table route It's something a little bit different um, but if they do decide to cover the fullback, and I, I doubt that they will most times. For whatever reason, the outside zones are not really working too well right now. Um, but here, he actually got like knocked off of his route, and you see how the A route is wide open. Um, so there's a couple different ways you can run this. I also like putting um, this drag route into a slant. Uh, I'm not going to do it here just yet. This is, I don't think I do it. I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, here I put it into, into an in route. In route's okay. 
uh, but the spacing is pretty good. And you can see how the in route pulls the zones down a little bit so that that deeper route can get open. That's the best route, the B route there. Um, so like I said, the in route's pretty good. Uh, the drag route's pretty good. Here's the fullback wide open again. And I also really like the slant route, which I'll show you here in a second. The slant route, uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna have really good spacing, but it really does. You can see here, um, it gets behind, you know, there's just three guys in the same area and you really gotta make your reads, but one of those three will be open every time. So um, that's just a really good play. Uh, I'll try to run it one more time here just to show you. The B route's also really good. The A route pulls coverage to leave the, uh, the B route wide open and, and that's the play. So, uh, so that's it. If you guys wanna see more plays like this, do me a favor, hit the like button. Other than that, hope you dominate with this play and that's it. Thanks for watching. Mad Money Shit Out.